<laughs> I, was, I, was just, I was just enjoying the pleasantries. Sounds Hello. like the, uh, pleasantries were a little heated. <laughs> he was just about to introduce it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, we were just talking about basketball. Hello uh, and welcome. Uh, <laughs> hey, Gavin, you got you take it this time. Ooh. Hiya. Take it away, Jeff. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of the <laughs> Face Podcast. Uh, my name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Panton, uh, way up there in Canada. Duh. And then uh, <laughs> Gavin Free, way over there, about five miles away from me right now. Hey. And uh, this is episode 175. I have a question for you guys that I'd like to ask you. Is it how to spell Canada? No, I know how to spell it. Saying it is different. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the longest time you were stupid before you realized you were stupid? Like you were doing something dumb or you had done something dumb and it was affecting your life. What's the longest amount of time you've gone, you've gone being a fucking idiot? I assume I'm still doing it. Yeah, there's still, I, I mean, I have some factors for sure. I guess whatever the distance between me learning what a computer and keyboard is and learning that caps lock wasn't the only way, <laughs> that's a long amount of time. <laughs> that's, that's probably 10 plus years, probably like 15 years. Okay. I didn't know that you could charge up the mining beam in Starfield until I'd already beaten the game. Excuse me? Oh yeah, you could hold down the other trigger and uh, it mines it in like a fraction of the time. Yeah, like boosts it up. What? <laughs> it, it, it condenses the beam and makes it more powerful. It uses up the battery faster, but it's just like, beep, done, beep, done. God damn it. <laughs> I don't mind because it takes so fucking long and it's boring. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I don't build outposts and shit because I don't want to mine because mining sucks. Well, now you can. <laughs> It's a lot easier than you thought. Gracie just said, who's stupid now? <laughs> Come on. Savage. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Well, I'll add Starfield onto the list. Uh, I have been... I ask, and, and I feel better now because Andrew mentioned the keyboard thing and he said over 10 years. I just found out yesterday that I've been stupid for a little under two years. Oh. Ooh. What was oh wow? So what was that like 2021? Yeah, about 2021. What did you start doing in 2021? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's iPhone related. Oh. Okay. I uh at some point, you know, I have a car and my car has uh car carplay, right? Where mm -hmm. you hook you yeah. you know, just Bluetooth your iPhone to your car and then you can use your carplay. Uh it's super, super convenient and awesome. However, and for about two years, it was awesome in my car. And then one day it just stopped working. <laughs> and uh, I went, uh, I, I did everything I could think of to fix it. You know, unpaired, repaired, fucking updated my phone, checked in with BMW to make sure there wasn't a firmware update for my fucking car or something. And I just assumed that I must have done something to break it. Or maybe like my, my iPhone at that point was a little janky you know i dropped it a bunch and the screens cracked and stuff and i thought maybe i just jostled something or but i i tried for months and months and months to get it to work as a matter of fact and then i would try to get it to work in emily's car and it won't work in emily's car but i can use emily's phone in my car and in her car and car talk works or uh carplay works just fine <laughs> so it's isolated to my phone it's not my car i discover it's just my phone and uh i'm not due to buy a new phone for a while so i'm like eh, it's whatever I go through that process over the first like two or three months of this issue in 2021. And then uh, then I would say maybe twice a month from that point on until yesterday, I would say, eh, let me give it another shot. Maybe it'll work this time. I, did a, I updated my iPhone. Every time I updated my iPhone, I immediately run out to my car and try to sync it and get it to work. And it just doesn't work. So I have to manually connect my iPhone to my car with Bluetooth every time I get into my car so that I can listen to music and make calls and stuff. I, I don't have access to CarPlay at all, but I have like the more rudimentary uh, Bluetooth access. But it's fucking annoying to have to manually connect it every time. And so I've probably tried to reinstall and get my phone to work uh, with CarPlay in my car. I'm going to guess legitimately 80 to 100 times over the past uh, two years or so. I've read about it on Google I've looked it up on BMW support forums. I have found nobody else with my specific problem, nobody else complaining about this issue, and uh, I'm just befuddled and I'm lost. And so I just give up and I decide, even though I still try, even knowing it's not going to work every couple, couple times a month, 
I just have given up on ever using CarPlay on my phone again or on my car again. Then I got the new iPhone 15. And the first thing I did after setting it up, which, by the way, I don't understand how it gets harder to set up a fucking iPhone every new iteration. <laughs> they, they, they even give you like, just scan this code and it'll fucking work. No, it doesn't. I still have to call and spend 45 minutes on the phone with AT&T <laughs> because something's not fucking toggled on their end and you got to go through their fucking whole, t their whole complicated and confusing tree to just get to talk to a human fucking person. <laughs> and it's just like, I just want to, I just want to get an, you get a new phone, you turn it on, it goes, hey man, do you want to set this phone up? And you go, yeah, I want to set it up. And it's like, we gotcha. This is the 15th version of this phone. We know how to do it. We know how to do it well. Do you want to restore it from the from the cloud or from your local phone? Either way, you try it. And it's like, no problem, dude. Just hit this button. Hit this button. Now it's going to work. And then it goes, hey, wait. Well, uh, it didn't work. There's a problem. Try again. And then you try again. They're like, oh, uh, well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this doesn't work. Call at t And you're like, god damn it. So anyway, uh, after I go through all of that, I run out to my car. I'm very excited. And I, I set up my phone. And I hit connect. I hit to pair it. And it starts to pair. And uh, this same thing happens with my other iPhone. It just pairs. It, it tries to pair forever, and then it eventually gives an, air, an undefined error message. And so I do it, and it fucking does that. And I get that error message, and I go, you got to be kidding me. You got to be <laughs> fucking kidding me. I know it's not the car because I've connected other cars to this fucking phone before, and, or, or uh, other phones to this fucking car before. What the fuck? And I just said, you know what? I'm going to try again. I'm going to try a second time. And for some reason, when I tried a second time and it didn't work... It gave me a different error message that it's never given me before. And that error message says, CarPlay doesn't work on, uh, doesn't work on iPhones that don't have Siri enabled. And I went, oh, I did disable Siri about two <laughs> oh years ago. Oh, my God. I did, I did disable Siri about two years ago because I fucking oh. hate her. Oh. And so I, I enabled Siri. Well, by the way, the first thing I did on my new phone was I disabled Siri because I don't use it. And uh, so I enabled Siri, and it connected immediately. And uh, <laughs> just to check, got my old phone no connected immediately. I spent two years without CarPlay because I disabled <laughs> Siri. So if you are having a similar issue out there, and I'm guessing you're not, because I saw zero people complaining about it online, uh, enable Siri. <laughs> I I don't ever use Siri, but I also doesn't really come. Just don't use it. Do you have to actually yeah. disable it? Uh, do I have to disable it? Apparently not. No, I'm living with it now. I just always bump it on accident or something. And uh. The little thing pops up and I'm like, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anybody, let, let alone you, a robot lady in my fucking pocket. I turn off like the always listing part, but I, I think it's on yeah. in general. Well, I'm a Siri user again now because it's the only way I can get CarPlay to work. But I want my two years back. I can't believe that nothing on Google came up with that. That's crazy. Nothing. And I never got that error message before. And Yeah, that's also very weird. Uh... But irregardless, it's my fault, and I should have tried that. I should have thought of that, you know? I wouldn't have thought of that. <sighs> yeah, they seem so disconnected. I wouldn't For make the assumption that those two would be synced. Years 46 to 48 of my life were lesser than they should have been, and I'm a little <laughs> pissed off about it. But I'm only mad at me. I like that it wasn't anything to do with the massive pandemic. It was the fact that <laughs> car play didn't work. Listen, I've already accounted. I've already accounted for the pandemic, and I've oh, figured okay. that out. This is new information that I'm dealing with. This is a new disappointment. <laughs> oh. yeah, and Gracie said she would have asked Siri how to solve the problem. Um, <laughs> that would have worked. I talked about the caviar phone last episode. Yeah. The idea of the caviar phone. Yeah. I have bought a caviar phone. Um, the problem is. It's not my caviar phone. My my normal phone just doesn't doesn't work. It's broken. Wait, what? Do not do not buy refurbished phones. Is a lesson <laughs> I've had to realize. <laughs> I have a Google Pixel graveyard at my desk. I am finding <laughs> pixels I didn't know I had. This is my fourth Pixel. I've gone through four Google Pixels in probably three years. Each one breaking in a different way. The most recent one similar to the Jeffs, it just doesn't connect to my mobile network. It just will not connect no matter what I do. I factory reset it. I've tried to reboot in safe mode. I've done all these things, Googling, and it just seems to be a bug where they're like, yeah, they updated the security at one point, and now sometimes it just doesn't connect for people with certain phones. Oh, so it, it used to? It used to, I guess. Oh. But this, is, this one has had this problem since I bought it refurbished, but when I would reboot it, it would work. And then last night... It just stopped working entirely. It just will not sync no matter what I do. Are you sure it's not locked to a different network? Positive. Yeah, I went through the whole process to make sure it's unlocked and all that stuff. 
Wow. It just will not connect. And it seems to be a common problem that there isn't really a specific fix for outside of like replacing the motherboard, which is more complicated than I want to do to, I don't want to take it in because it's a, a refurbished, like it's a piece of shit essentially. But uh, I'm done with refurbished phones and I've now ended up with a caviar phone uh, <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Which is, I actually don't own it yet. I shouldn't say I own one yet. I went to buy it, and I put in my information, and it said, great. Uh, my bank then sent a notification saying through the website, we have texted your phone to confirm that you want to go through this. <laughs> so I am unable. I'm unable to do. I, I think I'm just done with Google in general. They fuck, I hate Google so much. I was trying to recover, uh, complete aside, an email. I knew the password for the account. You got like I another knew, level of angry mid sentence. I don't want mad. I'm just thinking about my Google issues recently. <laughs> I I set up an email for my mom in like 2016, and it, there was an issue with it. And she couldn't get into her Pinterest. It was the whole thing, <laughs> and so I said I'd try to figure it out for her. And I went through it. I determined what the password is. I have the recovery email sent to my alternate email, so I was getting like, "Hey, this is you." Emails. The only problem is the phone it was connected to was her landline that doesn't exist anymore. It's long gone. It was the landline number. So I'd go to that and I'd say, well, I don't have this number. And they'd say, well, go fuck yourself. We need that. <laughs> Why is it not enough for me to know the password of the account, have the alternate email? I have every piece. They're just like, you don't have all four of what you need. Having the password for the account and the alternate. What's the point of having an alternate email on it? I hate Google. I don't even have a caviar phone yet. I'm going to have to fucking go to 7-Eleven to try to buy a phone. It's <laughs> so, a nightmare. I'm living can, in phone hell. Can you imagine explaining that problem to your grandfather in like <laughs> 1955? I, it was tough to explain to my mom in 2023. It's impossible. It's just like, this is what passes for problems in our future. I love the amount of, yeah, you'd be explaining to him all the things that aren't invented yet that you need to use a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> to use a telephone. Uh, and he's like, hey, just go down to just go down to the fucking Ma Bell and just rent a new phone. What are you talking about? <laughs> they come in three colors. <laughs> also, while you were telling that hilarious story, Andrew, I Googled caviar phone just for the hell of it, and it exists. What? That's yeah, those look awesome. Sublime luxury Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> Is it like a rebranded Samsung? By caviar. It looks like it. Yeah. It looks like, like a it, caviar. Yeah. That is deluxe. I can't wait for you to get one of those. No, nah, I don't think they're going to have that at the corner <laughs> store, but I'll oh, let okay. you know. I'll text you in six days when I'm able to activate this thing and do all that. Oh, it's a nightmare. So what, what broke on the phone, that, the Pixel that I sent you? That was, I, uh, I, I dropped it on the bed and the, the, mono, the screen turned off and has it oh, turned right. on again. And that's different to the one that you, <laughs> that you bit. <laughs> I think that damaged the integrity. I think that was the same phone. I think oh, okay. that weakened the screen integrity. And then I like dropped it face first on a, a soft bed and the screen just went out. It was like it was barely holding on, I guess. Then the one after that um, was a uh, I think that was on me. I think I think I dropped it in the tub. That was a tub issue. The third one, the screen also just randomly died. And the fourth one <laughs> will not connect to my network no matter what I do. It's pointless. It's currently, here's the issue too. I, when I set it up, when I factory reset it, I don't know my Gmail password. And with my Gmail history, I'm scared to like, an easy way to figure it out is you sign out. And then if it's saved in your computer, it'll autofill. And then you can click show password. I'm scared to do it because I bet you if I do sign out, it will ask to like text my phone to confirm that, and I'll just go through that cycle again. So I can't do that. So I just, my phone currently is essentially just an alarm clock. It's the well, only functionality I have on it. <laughs> I know you don't want other people's old phones anymore, but it, if it helps, I have an iPhone 13 here that, uh, as of yesterday, connects to CarPlay. That's a pretty cool feature. Well, that's pretty cool. Also, I'm to willing to, to join you. the villain side now. I know you guys stick on my bubbles, the videos that won't process correctly, me being the Android guy in the text chats. I This is the closest I've been to joining the other side. Well, my biggest issue is that I can't, I don't, I don't have any signal and, and I, it takes me like 17 attempts to send you one picture. And then I'm pretty sure you get them 17 times, even though it says 
message not sent. I well, you did recently send me a, a three ha 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 ha, but it went through twice, so I counted that as a six. Oh, I, wow. a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a good. I, I boosted myself. I gave myself a little bump in the ranks of how funny what I sent you was. Wow, a, th a three ha's, huh? Oh, six actually. You, well, <laughs> before, six. yeah. Were were, did, were you afraid you were having an off day there or something? No, a three ha is like fine. I'm okay with the three ha. That's All good. That's right, <laughs> pretty fucking bare minimum, I think. Well, you're very generous with your ha's. You're you're like a ten ha guy. Uh, yeah. You can send eight ha's and it's the base hit. You get a two or a three ha from me. That's. I did not. Yeah, like what no, you it's said. you're right. It is a different scale for you, but for Gavin, a three ha is like a, that was funny. I think I've noticed with Eric, I think Eric's more of a lol guy. I I made a conscious effort last year that I, ha 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 is a good response sometimes when something I find genuinely funny. LOL has a great condescending tone to it that I have really mm. adopted. And since last year, I've been hanging on to it. So I've been an LOL, lo, all lowercase LOL guy for a little while now. Oh, I don't know what that says about me. And no, my I think it's good. Uh, no, I mean, because they're funny, but at the same time, I, I want you to read it and go, is that a little bit condescending? And maybe. <laughs> this is what I think of when I hear LOL now. Oh, LOL surprise. I don't LOL know what those dolls. are. What, the what is that? that? Uh, I've seen them all over the place, but I don't know. Uh, Emily's sister's kids are really into them, so I, I see them opened up a lot at Christmases and birthdays. Is it like there's a, a hold on? Gracie said there's a freaky scandal with those dolls. Uh, Somebody get Gracie a microphone. God damn, we're it. we're what already on it. Um, well, Gra well yeah, yeah, Grace, Grace, yeah, jump off just, mute. You, Sorry if this part sounds bad, but yeah. Okay, well, I don't have a mic, but if you dip the dolls in cold water, their clothes come off, and they're wearing like what? bondage. Is that gear. true though? That's, I will show you a picture. I had to do an entire project on it. Is that the LOL surprises? <laughs> <laughs> LOL surprise not. S and M. Um, <laughs> like some of them have dicks. That's wild. Yeah, I didn't. That's. It's funny that that's the only thing I know about this product now. <laughs> I know one fact about it, and they're bondage when dipped in water. Now, which is not a great kids' toy. Yeah, now I'm faced with knowing the answer to this. What Do I have hell? a responsibility to tell the family? Uh, I'm not staying out of it. I don't want anything to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, you just avoid it. You do, you yeah. don't get into uh, that, Jeff. You just let uh, it be. Did you ever have those anything. those little alien, squishy alien in, in the eggs things? And uh, everyone said that if you like tied their dicks together, they'd make a baby alien. <laughs> what? No. What the? I didn't, does I didn't, any of that I don't, mean? What the I first, fuck are what you are talking, talking about? about? I first of all don't know. <laughs> I don't know what your toy is. And I also don't know who the everyone is. I didn't have either of those in my life. Do you do you tie a lot of dicks together? No, I never I never had one. I was uh they were like it was like a little plastic egg with slime inside and in okay. in the slime was like a little rubbery alien, like stretchy alien. Okay. But everyone would always say that like cuz they had dicks. Everyone always said if you tied the dicks together a baby <laughs> alien would grow and I Who's can never understand everyone. The Just all my friends who had them. Yeah, Is yeah, that what like it that. looked like? Yeah, but it had a it schlong. And then uh all my friends are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tie the dicks together, it makes a little baby alien. <laughs> Ever like, sh okay, so what's going on here? <laughs> oh, what the? Is that what? The uh, these ones don't have dicks. They're making a, they're making a baby alien. I found a website, Lad Bible, that is, uh, you know, just like bar stool, but for like blokes. Uh, <laughs> scientific experiment confirms once and for all whether goo aliens can have babies, and it is. <laughs> Exactly what Gavin is talking about. They did an experiment to see. <laughs> yeah. So, but my friends would never show me. And one day I was like, look, I really don't believe that uh, tying these two alien dicks together would make a baby. So, two of my friends tried it and they're like, oh, yeah, it didn't work. Just like, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like a problem with those specific aliens. But I was like, how, how would it, how did that rumor start? Where'd that come from? Yeah, I don't know. I thought you were talking about like those dinosaurs you'd put in water and they'd grow. Those are always awesome as a kid. The little sponge pill things? Yeah, the little sponge things you put in the water, and then, like, the next day it would be. Yeah, they were, the, they were the see, shit. See, your, friend, your friends were like, what do you want to do after school today? You want to go play uh, cricket? Like, nah, I'm, uh, <laughs> football? Nah. What if we tied alien dicks together? I'll be yeah, over at 315. It was like a, a well-known thing that it worked, but no one had ever seen it work. <laughs> how does that stuff, how does, like, the schoolyard stuff 
kind spread. of like prevent. Yeah, right. Like, like propagate to all the schoolyards yeah, like, around I, the world. I don't know. Like there's stuff like Rod Stewart and oh, yeah. Richard Gere that have like urban legends, and I just don't know how me in third grade hears about that. What happens you know if what you I mean? tie Richard Gere's dick to Rod Stewart? <laughs> Uh, a gerbil comes out of his ass. Anyway. <laughs> I think, I think this just might be genius marketing from the company because really what they're selling is buy two get one free in this environment. It's like a convi- it's a trick to get you to buy two aliens, and it ultimately gives you nothing under the belief of you're going to get a free third one. Yeah, I feel like if that came from within the company, it's the most genius thing I've ever heard. How do we? All right, well, all right, hold on. How do we do that? <laughs> what do you mean? What do we? Like what? if you, how do we do that? How do we tie face? alien dicks? No, no, no. How do we? How do we? <laughs> how do we propagate some with? sort of a schoolyard thing so that people think they have to buy two f- face merch items and Ooh. have them have sex to make a new f- face merch item? What we getting into scamming? Yeah, I don't want to do that to the audience. Second of all, <laughs> I don't think you can when you talk about it within the thing. I think that's a a secret or subtle. It won't uh, work. It won't work for everybody who listens to 175. But think of all the people that miss it, and then I don't somebody wanna... will mention it. This is how these things propagate. Do you think maybe it's a thing where, like, we try to get people to listen? It's like, it, like if you listen to stuff backwards, or you like listen to the episode two times. Like, oh, that's see, I like that. Something. I like a listening version of that, not a monetary one. Yeah, like if you if you uh, if you wear an Ian shirt. Uh, and say and say pencil three times into a into a mirror with the lights off. Ian will appear behind you or something. That's great. You know what my favorite one of those is, and I, I'm so mad that I don't remember her name. She was such a fucking smart um, ad executive, but she is the reason why in Alka Seltzer ads they drop in two tablets in the commercial. Because I guess you only need one, and they're originally doing one. And she realized that if they displayed people using two, they would use the product more frequently and they would sell more. And it like almost overnight doubled the sales. Can you OD on Alka-Seltzer? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a vicious thing to OD from. Like you'd explode. I think you could <laughs> OD on anything. But also it makes sense with the marketing too, right? Because plop fizz isn't nearly as fun to say as plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> That's fizz. very true. Oh. You can't That's have that point. second plop. Yeah. Um. Can I take a step back in what we were talking? You were talking about Ian, like, you know, Ian appears behind you, whatever. Uh-huh. I, had a, I had a merch meeting that uh, <laughs> that that you missed earlier this week, Andrew. And uh, you're thinking of it. me. It was like me and Tony kind of like kicking around a couple of ideas. And he said something about it, like an Ian, you know, what would like an Ian like figure, like a bobblehead be? You know, yes. is that something? And I'm like, oh, that's like such a fun, it's like such a funny idea to do like a bobblehead Ian. And he's like, right. So what's the back of Ian's head? And I d- don't know the answer to that question. Is there a back? Well, the back is facing downwards. Uh, it would just be like a sauce. It would just be like a hot dog roll, right? Yes. Yeah. You'd have a little head roll. I is that what it is? I think. Well, you know, just I was back of Andrew's running out of bits. For yeah. Me. yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's not just okay. I thought it was me. No, I got, he's, I got worried. Did you cool. leave the planet? What do you mean? Did you oh switch to your <laughs> pixel? Oh what is that? Are you on your pixel? No. <laughs> it sounds like you're talking to us from space. Really? Yeah. yeah you got robot. Right, well, is it all these pictures of aliens that have done it? <laughs> I'm trying. To find them. Here's another. What should I, Oh my, oh my god. god. Stop talking. Oh, hang on. You're going to make Andrew into more of an alien, Gavin. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Well, that's one with the dick on it. You can see it's schlong. What the? Oh, yeah. Look at his little wiener. Andrew, are you there? Are you an alien? Yeah, well, what, 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 how do I think? Uh oh. Uh, oh, boy. Uh oh. Um, are you trying to print oh, something right oh, now? He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Did you? <laughs> what are you printing? <laughs> it's been a while since we've had an Andrew tech problem. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Do you talk now? Andrew, are you there? He, oh, okay. I want everyone at home to know, Andrew dropped from our call and immediately rejoined. We asked him to talk and he has said nothing. So that means oh, something I, broke. Hello? <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh God. no. Oh God. Uh, this is how seasons change. <laughs> <laughs> is this the end of the summer of 98? <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh, well, this, I'm, I'm, I can't understand. <laughs> and this is the moment the summer of '98 ends. Uh, as oh. of this moment, it's fall, y'all. Oh. It was such a good season. It was a great season, but we can't. Season '98 was tremendous. This. It's one of my favorite. TPG asked me today. He just went, "Bro, 
when does the uh, Summer of 98 movie thing come out? And I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, I recorded a thing for like the Summer of 98 like movie thing. When does that come out? And I went, about, like a month ago? And he went, what? No. No, it didn't. <laughs> what do you mean? No, it didn't. Uh, he couldn't believe that we included his whole thing at like the end. He was so excited about that. <laughs> that's awesome. He's in town right now, right? Yeah, he I talked is, to yeah, him. That's I was, why I talked to him. I saw him today. I was going to try to swing by and see him in person, but I wasn't able to. I'm seeing him work. tonight. He told me to watch The Pope's Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very TBG thing to that, say. That was his Fuego recommendation. <laughs> Fuego. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey i got a oh wait is oh. that an andrew oh, no, no that was him off. leaving i have a little a little mini life hack for you guys oh, oh yes if you're ever bored it, you know how sometimes you go stay in a hotel like a really nice hotel and it's just you just get a really good night's sleep if uh just it's a nice bed and it's a different bed or whatever and you just you know it, there's just something about being in a calm new room and you just in an unfamiliar bed and you go to sleep and you just like wake up and you're like, I slept like a fucking rock in this hotel room. At least that happens to me a lot when I go, when I stay at hotel rooms. Uh, I figured out the other night, Emily and I, we were, uh, I, we were tickling each other in bed or something. Not sex, but just like fucking what annoying each other. <laughs> and uh, we're just like, you know, just fucking around. And I ended up on her side of the bed and she on my side of the bed. And I was like, let's just sleep like this. And I'd never slept on her side of the bed uh. before. I had the best fucking night of sleep. So my, po my my life hack is, if you ever get a little bored sleeping in your bedroom, sleep on the other side of the bed. Switch places. You might be surprised. It's fun. Are you not worried that you'll fall out? Fall out of bed? Yeah, because the the drop is on the, a different side. Oh, like I'll, I'll think it's safe to roll in my sleep. Yeah. And I, no, dude, I sleep like a vampire. I sleep like <laughs> Dracula. Like uh, straight like a pencil. And with my arms folded at my chest, like exactly like Bella Lugosi rising from uh, rising from a crypt is how I sleep. <laughs> and so I don't move at all. I had this conversation with my wife a month or two ago, and we both thought that it was insane to sleep on the other person's side of the bed. It's I would have never done it if I hadn't found myself on that and just was like feeling adventurous. and was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see what happens. I had a great night's sleep and it was a lot of fun. And I felt and like Emily did. Uh, I don't know. I don't really ask her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she slept fine too. We talked about it the next day. I'm just kidding. How did Emily sleep? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> why, would I, why would I give a shit about that? Uh, no, she she also agreed that it was a good night's sleep. Uh, it wasn't as good a night's sleep for her because she sleeps on. She has like a fan on her. I explained her complicated sleep ritual. Oh yeah, you'd be like all in her. Equipment. So I was I was in between her and her equipment, which I think ultimately probably wasn't <laughs> the best for her. But man, I see why she does it. I was fucking sleeping like a rock. After having spent some more time with your small wife, Eric, I can imagine her not being cool with sw switching sides. Yeah, what? she's Swapping. very, she's just, you know, she's particular. She's specific. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to throw caution to the wind and say, fuck it. Okay, yeah, we're in different relationships. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So a bad, a bad life hack, Eric? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You also started this off by going, you know how you sleep so well in hotels? And oh, I sleep I, like I dog just, shit. In yeah, I just and kept no, thinking, dude, no. Every, <laughs> every once in a while when I go to a hotel, if I'm just there for a night or something, it's a decent, nice hotel with a big king size bed and this room is super cold and it's pitch black because they have blackout curtains and you throw like CNN on quietly in the background or something. I just <laughs> fucking go to, I, I sleep deep, like core of the earth sleep. <laughs> like I'm I'm rolling around with slee stacks in my sleep. I'm so fucking I, <laughs> Okay, so but deep. like you do you um, Gracie loves was, a hotel sleep, see? Great. Uh what <laughs> What was your sleep? But like you slept in like the army and stuff where it was like you you know, you had to like really make something work, right? Like Oh yeah. Do you do you want to uh, you want to hear the worst night of sleep in my life? Yes. I was, uh, when I was in the army in 1994, I had, uh, it was a bad year for me. I was deployed, maybe it's 95. I was deployed about eight months out of that year uh, to Kuwait and to all different places. And so I had been gone almost the whole year and I came home 
and I was a I, I was about to go. Uh, I, I came back home to Fort Hood where I was stationed, and I went into work on a Monday. I had literally gotten home from Kuwait on Thursday, I think. And I had the weekend and I got home Monday morning and I was in a fucking great mood because Wednesday I was going to go home to Alabama to see my family for Christmas. And so I just had like an easy two days of work and then I was, you know, on vacation. And I got into the I got into the office Monday morning and my my boss was there and he goes, uh, I was really, really nice guy. I really liked him. But he goes, Jeff, come here, son. And I go, anytime your boss calls you son, you know, you're in, you're in for it. And I was like, in my head, I was like, what? I did. I did a lot of dumb shit recently. What did I? You know, what am I about to get in trouble for? And uh, and he goes, "Son, have a seat." And go, okay. And he goes, uh, "I'm about to fuck you." And I was like, "Okay." So you undid your belt. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if this is literal or what. I'm I'm new to the army. And he goes, "I really hate to do this to you, but uh, uh, I, I, you're getting deployed." And I was like, I laughed. I was like, "No, I, I can't be getting deployed. I'm going home in two days. I'm on vacation." He goes, "Yeah, I had to rescind your leave. I'm really sorry. Uh, I need you to. I need you to go on this." Uh, important deployment and i go well i have to call my mom and tell her i'm not coming home for christmas and he's like yeah you do that but you can't tell her where you're going it's a secret mission and you're not allowed to mention it and so i was really <laughs> oh, pissed about that and we were going to panama uh, by the way i'm telling this story to vamp while andrew fixes fixes his uh, I, well, I think, am i fixed yeah, am i back good. so i can i okay. can end the story uh, i'm not trying to take up the whole fucking episode i was just trying to cover some time uh, but anyway, uh, he goes, I, I got to send you to Panama. What happened was uh, a bunch of Haitian refugees uh, left Haiti and they ended up in Panama and they didn't know what to do with them. So they built these like, uh, honestly, like internment camps. It was kind of sketchy and scary uh, just to kind of house them all and feed them and take care of them while they figured out, like, do they have to go back to Haiti or do they assimilate into Panama or whatever? And uh, and so I had to call my mom in front of him and tell her. That I was going at a, I was, which is not a fun call you want to have with your mom two days before you're supposed to see her for Christmas when you're 19 years old and you've barely left home and say, I have to go uh, out of the country. I'm not coming home for Christmas and I'm not allowed to wear, to say where I'm going. And my mom just starts crying and she's like, oh, Jeffrey, oh, oh no. And I go, yeah, uh, my boss, uh, he, w- he won't let me say where I'm going, but he didn't say I can't rhyme it. So I, uh, I it rhymes with Manama. <laughs> I'm going to a place that rhymes with Manama. <laughs> and he just fucking like his a fucking steam came out of his ears. Oh, this was right oh. in front of him? Yeah, I was right in front of him. <laughs> oh. idiot. I don't give a fuck, dude. I was mad. And uh, and anyway, and he's just like, he let it go. I saw him like settle himself, you know? He did the, you know? Like, stuff it down, stuff it down. And then he goes, uh, okay. And so I get off the phone with my mom and I go, where am I going? And he goes, or what am I going? He goes, that's the other thing. Uh, you need to go pack. You're leaving in like four hours. <laughs> so I immediately went home and luckily I had done laundry because all my laundry was fucking full of sand from Kuwait. <laughs> and so I had just done laundry over the weekend. And so I packed up and I, I went to Panama. Then I get to Panama. I don't really know what's going to happen when I get there. We're staying on the <laughs> fucking Panama Canal. Like I'm looking at the Panama Canal from my tent. And, uh, worst night of sleep in my life. It's a, like 140% humidity in Panama somehow all year round. Like it's like walking through a shower at all times. And the bugs on the Panama Canal are the size of Eric's dog. And, uh, and also, by the way, we got there and all of our food spoiled. And so the army didn't have food for fucking oh. three days. Like I didn't get to eat oh. for three fucking days because the, po- the food spoiled. Uh, but that's a different story. So anyway, so we set up these tents and uh, these big open air tents like right on uh, the Panama Canal, it, which I'm like, are there alligators? Like, are they going to come eat me in my sleep? Because I can fucking see the water from here. This doesn't seem safe. <laughs> but w- we set up these mosquito nets uh, because there were fucking bugs everywhere. And then I went to sleep. And as soon as it gets dark and everybody goes to sleep, the monkeys come out and the <laughs> monkeys start screaming and yelling and fighting and attacking each other and destroying all of our stuff. And you can hear it. The monkeys are like, it's terrifying oh to hear a monkey in pitch black. And it's even worse to hear like, I don't know, maybe 50 of them is what it sounds like. And uh, anyway, you and so I had to sleep through bugs biting me every second and monkeys screaming in my ear all night long, praying that a monkey doesn't come and eat me. Uh, and, uh, and that was like the longest night of my life. And when I got up in the morning, I was covered in bug bites from head to toe, like a horror movie. Like what Chet, like what, what do you remember? Uh, do you remember Bill Pullman? Uh, was it Pullman or Pat? Yeah. Bill Pullman in weird science. When, uh, when she turns him into like a big blob of like essentially like a big zit. That's what my whole fucking body looked like. 
And so <laughs> that's the worst night of sleep in my life, sleeping on the Panama Canal, uh, being terrified of monkeys and getting malaria six or seven times. Yeah, oh, that's that what I look like. Awful. That's what I look like right there. What? Dog shit night of sleep. Yeah. That's terrible. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. There are so many times where doing something that would be good for me, whether it be sleep or eating something, whatever, could be all sorts of things, uh, is good, but not always the easiest to pick. I mean, do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? I know for me, with sleep, that happens all the time, where it would be like, oh, I really need to get up early or whatever the next day, and it just won't happen my mind will constantly be racing. I'll be having all sorts of different thoughts. It's uh, really frustrating. It's something that I've gotten better with over time, but it feels like, I don't know if it's an anxiety thing, but whenever there's something like that where I have to do something for the betterment of myself, I, I sabotage in some ways. Like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Therapy is something that has helped me, as I say every time, because it's true in so many ways. It's still something that helps. Uh, I really has led to me to discover uh, not just things that I'm struggling with uh, that I knew about, but also things I didn't know about and ways to kind of approach those things um, and, and has just helped me deal with issues in ways that I would have never naturally come to or even like viewed in the right lens. It's... Uh, I think it's an amazing process to go through, so I'd recommend anyone do it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com face today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. This ad is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. A crazy schedule can make it easy to fall back into your dinnertime recipe rut. Keep mealtime exciting with over 40 recipes to choose from every week, so there's always something delicious to discover with HelloFresh. With so many in-season ingredients, you'll taste all the freshness of fall in every bite of HelloFresh's chef-crafted recipes. Produce travels from the farm to your door for peak ripeness you can taste. HelloFresh does all the shopping and meal planning for you. Ingredients arrive at your doorstep pre-portioned and ready to cook, along with pictured step-by-step -step recipe cards. How easy is that? It's incredibly easy. One of the reasons I love HelloFresh is regardless of your uh, experience or skill level cooking, it's very approachable. It's so easy to process everything. They, they, they've organized it so well. The box is fun. The food is always delicious. I would highly recommend HelloFresh to anyone. It's, it's just a fantastic service it's a great product uh whatever you want to call it it's wonderful so if you want to try it go to hellofresh.com 50 face and use code 50 face for 50 percent off plus free shipping that's hellofresh.com 50 face and use code 50 face for 50 percent off plus free shipping how about you guys you guys got a bad night of sleep uh, uh, mine's not very funny <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely <laughs> nothing close to that. Uh -uh. Yeah, nothing, nothing even remotely even kind. Andrew, of you sound good now. Yeah, you sound I sound great, good. You, sound you great. should have heard me yell when I went to message Nick to help me with this, this tech support thing, realizing my phone has nothing on it. I opened it to a blank phone. I hate Google so much. It just, it just fueled my rage even further. Um, it's just been a bad tech thing for me. I, I do have a thing when I sleep. Uh, when you get woken up unexpectedly, do you immediately go into like attack or suspicious mode? Like, how do you react typically when that happens? Yeah. Like if somebody wakes you up, like for me, typically my whole life I've been like this. When I get woken up unexpectedly, I'm always immediately very accusatory and assuming that something awful is happening. <laughs> do you get mad? Not, I don't, not <laughs> mad at the person, but mad that like, that there must be some situation that is causing this that is not good. It's a lot of like, what? Why are you? Why are we? Why is this happening? Is sort of the general uh, thought I have when I get woken up. It happens a lot. I had it happen recently. Um, I've been really into party animals, which just came out. 
Mm. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. There's like a, a bunch of it's like gang beasts, but with really cute characters. And I would say more fun, in my opinion. And there's all these skins and stuff. And uh, Eric says, do you want to play on Let's Play? Absolutely. I want to play on Let's Play. I'm so, I, I'm so excited to play that with you guys. It's so much fun and chaotic. Um, it's great. But they have all these skins. And a lot of games now do like Twitch integration with their stuff. We're like, oh, either yeah. if you're streaming, you get like additional things. Or in this case, it was you had to watch streamers that had like a certain credit to their account and if you watch for an hour you would get one thing and then an hour more you'd get another thing and they had like five things including a skin so i thought i'll just set this up and uh, i went to steam which doesn't even connect to xbox they found out so there was no reason for me to do this i have no access to the things that i was getting but i was just watching twitch streamers that had the credit and then whenever i hit enough time i'd hit approve and that was sort of my evening that night i uh Everything's muted. I went to bed. And then at 3.45 a.m., I just st start hearing yelling. I'm just hearing a voice yelling. And I immediately go into defense mode. I think, like, is there somebody screaming outside? What is going on? And so I hear the voice. I wake up. I go. I say, like, what is, why is this happening? Why is this happening to my partner in bed? And then I, I yell, what do you want? And I realize what had happened is when you have Twitch muted for a streamer, it will unmute them if it goes to a different account. So I th the person that I <laughs> left it on running for, they stopped streaming at 3.45 a.m. my time, went to a different streamer, and it was just this woman reading off her recent subscriber list at full volume <laughs> on my computer. But I thought that there was like an attack going on or that like somebody had broken into the space. I was so confused and angry. I was just yelling, what, what do you, that was a pretty bad night of sleep. Me yelling at my computer, what do you want, when it's just a <laughs> Twitch streamer reading, like, thanks for the follow, essentially. Auto unmute might be the worst feature I've ever heard. But like, it's terrible. It's a terrible feature. It should not be a thing that exists. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I, I wake up to, because I, I just fall asleep to YouTube videos a lot of the time, and uh, it, it puts me down some really weird YouTube holes. But I kind of just, the next night, I'll just click on whatever's on the recommended. So at the moment, it's just like police interrogation videos and something about the audio being so shit it puts me right to sleep i don't really ever know really? what i'm being interviewed about I'm just like gavin finds police interrogating murderers to be calming and soothing i don't know if they're murderers i don't know they're all murderers know. i only ever hear the first like eight minutes of it but uh it always like auto plays onto like a live car chase like a three-hour video of just like helicopters reporting on where cars are and that's also very peaceful i found so sometimes I'll wake up to like, <laughs> you know, like talking about where the car went and it, it just puts me right back to sleep. <laughs> I'm imagining you sleeping in a race car bed while listening to voices of people saying where did the car went? Like you're dreaming that you're driving around. <laughs> Cause and crimes. I have a question for you, Jeff. Okay, I have an answer. Uh, I probably have an answer for you. I think you have an answer. And it is, just is it about snow runners and how I spent fucking five hours last night trying to move concrete slabs from the dam at Smithville or the quarry by the dam at Smithville all the way up to Big Lake? Because, uh, it, yes, it was fucking brutal. What is snow runners? It's the game I play every night. You're playing snow runners every Is that every like the truck of my game? Life, man. Yeah, every night of my life, man. I think I've played snow runners. <laughs> oh, my God. Just haul, just haul and freight. I mean, that is sounds it? like something we should play. Yeah, is I don't, that I don't know. We were you? talking. I was talking about it with my with my dudes last night, and I don't know if y'all are ready for <laughs> snowrunners. I really don't. I don't know. Wait, so you got like a truck crew? Is everybody doing snowrunners right now? Just just my crew, just me me and my two dudes that I play. That's what I love. Night. So you guys are in a multiplayer session, just running freight every night from ten a.m. until about three a.m. Yeah, I was. I know last night was a school night, and I wasn't supposed to play late, but I could sleep in a little bit today. And so I, I allowed myself to play, yeah, till three. So does that potentially mean that Andrew and I should should start playing it separately to get up to the level where we could potentially fit in with what you're doing? Uh, I mean... I, I Getting think, trained yeah, up on running I, cargo. I just, I just don't know if you guys... Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's, it's a lot. It's oh, hard. It's a lot of work. No, it is really yeah. hard. I think I played it and I couldn't figure out how to shift gear. So it's just driving around really slow for like. So is it like minutes. ultra realistic? <laughs> no, it's not so. ultra, but it's it's it's. There's a learning curve, and it's a there's a is a is a rhythm to it, dude. You gotta. It's slow and steady. Like I'm not kidding when I say I spent. I mean, there, some of it was because of the game being a piece of shit. 
and crashing. <laughs> but I, I spent about three hours literally just going from one side of the map to the other and, uh, you know, and getting stuck and having to be, you know, wedged out by one of the other dudes and vice versa. But yeah, it's, uh, I, if you're going to do it, I, you should definitely play it. And if you, we'll see, I just, I, I don't know that it makes for content, but it might, <laughs> I, I, I will show you one thing though. Uh, here, I'm going to send you guys a photo. And while I'm doing that, Andrew, why don't you ask me your my question? question. Yeah. My question, Jeff, is, uh, and it's okay if you say no to this. I'm just curious where your mind goes. If you were on, uh, let's say, uh, another podcast, so you're a guest on another podcast, and somebody asked, who is the funniest person you know, would either of us come up in that conversation? As even like a, a passing mention. Somebody from this podcast would. I just can't imagine answering that question without at least bringing you or Gavin up. Uh, my, my initial response would be to say, I th I'm the funniest person I've ever met. <laughs> uh, you get all your own jokes. Have you met but, yourself? <laughs> yeah, I get all my own jokes. I really, I really tickle me. Like I, <laughs> I'm an audience of one, and I, and I love, I, I love it. Uh, no, I think you and Gavin are easily two of the funniest people I've ever met, and I've met a, I've been blessed in and outside of this career, uh, to be around some very, very funny people. I'd say the same thing about you and Gavin. And I just, I thought that was interesting. I wanted to see if we're on the same page with that. That's all yeah, I Yeah, you guys would be, I, I mean, I've never thought to rank it. I think you No, I neither have I. I don't, I mean, you guys are both funny in very different ways. I think you're equally funny, but you're also like, I, 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 I you delight me. Like I, I do a podcast yeah. with you guys because I'm so entertained by both of you and how hilarious I think you both are. So I don't I don't know who I would put in front of you, honestly. Yeah, I feel like funniest person. If I was asked that, it would definitely be a pool well, you of were. people. But if <laughs> you were and we weren't on the list, so that's why I was bringing this up. I just want to make sure Jeff and I were on the same same. Page oh, you're talking here. about you're talking about some always open. Well, it, you were asked the question and we did not come up once. Or even a thought of bringing. I didn't this say up. anyone. I, did I, I thought I would immediately. No, you did. You absolutely oh. did. Uh, not us. So I just want to make sure Jeff and I were on the same page so that we would include you. Yeah, I would include Gavin. What did I say? We're we're not on his list, Jeff. You said yeah, the dude. Willems. <laughs> you didn't mention us. Huh? Wow. Get fucked, <laughs> us. Yeah. No, All it right. was a. I thought maybe a throwaway or like not even. I'm not even want to be at the top of the list. I just thought like a mention would have been nice for us, but it's okay. I don't know. To be honest, I was trying not to shit myself. The whole thing's a blur. So, Gav, I guess what you're saying is if you had the opportunity to fire Andrew and I and replace us on Face with the Willems, you would do that. No, I think I was just saying that Elise is very funny. <laughs> they're, yeah, they, I'm not going to argue with you. No, they're, they're, they're definitely they funny. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Funny. Deserving of it. I just thought, it, you know, I, was, I was curious what you would say, Jeff. Because I know yeah, what I no, would I, say. And I know I, what Gavin would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys would you guys would probably I'd probably mention you, you two and Bernie, honestly, as the three yeah. funniest people I've ever met. I just uh, thought that Gavin phrased that like he was gonna answer it like he hadn't already. I was <laughs> that made me very happy. But what is this photo? So you have a so let me show you, Jeff, this, I, you in a truck. It's me in a truck, and you can see to the right of the truck, uh there's a, a yellow square, uh like a line yes. yellow square. That's where I need to turn in that cargo I have on the back of my truck. That is where I ran out of gas. <laughs> no! Have you ever seen somebody get oh. closer to an objective and oh run out of God. gas and not be able to complete it? Now, the problem with this was I was in a different <laughs> part of the map. Antonio, my friend Antonio, had to come bring me gas and fill my car up. Uh, <laughs> he couldn't just give you a nudge? And, well, I mean, he's got to get to me either way. <laughs> so he has to get from, so they have to get from where they are to me, it's 45 minutes. So basically, I got there, ran out of gas six feet from finishing the mission, and then I had to wait about 45 minutes for them to bring of gas. real time? Yeah, probably half hour, 40, yeah, of real time. How big is this map? It's, they're big. Well, it's, it's not just that it's big. It's hard. It's fucking hard to traverse, dude. It's muddy. It's fucking, <laughs> you're rolling over. You're, they're trying to get to me, and they're getting stuck, and then one of them has to go get a crane to get them out. It's a fucking thing. But I couldn't, I laughed probably for 15 straight minutes. <laughs> Last night when I when I literally <laughs> ran out of gas right there. That's unbelievable. How far? Yeah. How, how many minutes had you been dri driving? 
It was worse than that. Uh, so what happens is I'm the way it works is one person opens up a multiplayer session, so it's in their world, and then you join their world, and their world persists, but your your part of it doesn't. So like if I bring one of my trucks in and I drive around, if I leave, that truck disappears. So uh, it was a very simple mission where I go and I get the 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 stuff from the quarry, and then I just have to drive it across a fucking dam and a whole bunch of stuff to a, over a mountain to another uh, part of the map. You have to like load into another section of the map. That in itself could take a half hour, 45 minutes. But what kept happening to us last night is uh, I'd get about like five eighths of the way through it and get kicked from the game. And when you get kicked from the game, all your progress just disappears. So the, oh. the, the truck just goes away. And so then when you come back in, I have to respawn at the spawn point and then spend a half an hour, 45 minutes getting to the spot to get the, the, the hall and then take it up again. I got kicked, I think three times before I was able to turn it in. And so this point right here, when I'm right at the edge, I've already been kicked from the game. I've already lost probably an hour and a half of my life trying to turn this in. And I now have to wait 30 to 45 minutes for them to bring gas to me and just pray <laughs> that I don't get kicked in the meantime. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I just, I pulled it up. I have played this game. It was absolutely the game that I loaded in. I think I got the car st or the truck stuck. And then I, I just closed it after like 20 minutes. It was a lot. There's it's a so much fun. Curve. It's, it's so fucking much fun. And we definitely should, should play it sometime. It. But it's a slow. I mean, we, if we're going to play it, we got to play it for like three hours. So you guys okay. got buckle, to buckle up. Oh, I'm ready for that. I'm up for it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll look, at, we'll look into it. Definitely for sure. And I mean, we, I don't want to butt in on your You're not buttoning on side of... Okay. I think no, they would. Never. I think they would be entertained to see other people play the game. Because I think we're the only three people on earth that are playing this game. <laughs> it's on game pass too which is great yeah it's free so what is the what's the name of it snow runner snow runner snow runner okay yeah huh. it's a it's, truck you game. start you start in michigan and you just uh, completing missions in michigan you know fixing bridges and hauling lumber and and concrete uh slabs and bricks and shit and then you make your way to alaska and then you can go to there's deal there's like 10 dlc places you can go so you can go all over the place I'm excited. We're going to record a Tony Hawk thing after this that I think will be a lot of fun. I uh, got kicked out of my Sea of Thieves account last night. It took me like five hours to figure that out, but I'd love to do Sea of Thieves stuff. What happened? It just, I, I kept getting this error called Lavender Beard. It wouldn't let me load in. And then it's uh, <laughs> a kind of annoying thing where every support thing I found was for people on PC and uh, it does not help me as a console player. And I tried so many things. Nothing would work. I then realized that, oh, it's a network issue, so I had to figure out how to port forward, and that fixed it. But it was I was trying to clean up some items in the Monkey Island stuff uh, that I hadn't done, and it took just my entire evening was spent troubleshooting Sea Thieves. But I think we'll have so much fun playing that as a group. We need to organize that at some point. A comment leaver suggested that possibly the reason your um, rep is so low, by the way, is because of all your like destiny rubber banding and stuff. I, that's I saw that that is inaccurate because I, was, I did that with a friend so we were gifting wins so I don't know why people would be mad it was a doubles mm. playlist and my friend and I were both doing the same thing maybe so. they wanted to maybe they wanted a challenge I guess but like are you gonna leave negative rep for like not that <laughs> seems like a weird move that's fair <laughs> did did you guys end up recording a war zone or no yes we did was it fun it was fun I had a good time yeah it was good I enjoyed yeah, it. I mean, it was, it's, it's not, not a lot particularly happened in that one, but it was... I no. Think. It's not the best video we've ever made, but it, I, we had fun doing it. We couldn't find anyone in the map, yeah. strangely <laughs> yeah. enough. Like, we played three games and encountered, like, six people. It was very weird. We had some funny stuff. We did. We jumped through some windows. We did some some cool dives into the uh, out of, like, houseboats into the water and stuff. It was fun. I'm excited to do more. I, liked, I think they rotate the map in that game, right? Like, I, I actually prefer the original map more than that one. Uh, so no, they don't really rotate as much as replace. Okay. Well, there's a new season, I think, coming out really soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. I had to update the game. They just put spawn in the game, I think, which is such a, such a weird property to still have leg. Yeah. Like, I yeah. don't know what spawn content is coming out or why anyone cares about spawn. Who the fuck remembers spawn? Like, that was I, the first superhero movie I ever saw. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's such an interesting question. I think probably the original Spider-Man for me with Tobey Maguire would have been my first. Oh, uh, yeah. 
What about you, Eric? What What about me? The first well, superhero movie. I first ever superhero saw? movie. Oh man, what What would it have been? One of the Batman movies, I guess. Because that was yeah, it's a good pull. Eighty nine. Ba- Nick says Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <The Batman>. Um, <laughs> that was that was probably eighty nine, right? What was before that? Uh, and, like, Batman came out on June nineteenth, nineteen eighty nine. So that was probably, I mean, I was probably three when that, I was three when that came out. So I probably saw it when I was four or five. I, uh, I was in a shooting that night. What, what the what? fuck? Yeah, what? I saw, I saw Batman in high school the night it came out. It was my birthday. So it was very exciting to me because I was a fucking comic book nerd and Batman of all things came out on my birthday. And so I went with my friends to go see Batman and I believe Boys in the Hood came out at the same time. And while we were in Batman, there was a shooting in the Boys of the Hood uh, movie theater. And oh we didn't God. have any idea. Came outside after the movie was over and there were fucking ambulances and cops and stuff. Yeah. Jesus. Had no, that's had no idea it happened while we were in the theater. I was uh, watching a, like it just got fed to me on TikTok recently. I thought this was so funny. This guy, uh, he grew up, this part isn't the funny part. He grew up in a cult. His dad was like a, an extremist cult guy. And so he just wasn't exposed to like modern media as a kid growing up. And he eventually escaped it from what I gathered from this clip. And he was riding a bike and he saw an arcade through a window and he wanted to like play the games or interact with the arcade. So he went up and they said that he needed a ticket and he he got a ticket, but he didn't really understand what it was for. And then he went into the arcade and then he decided to like pursue what the ticket thing was that he bought. And he had never been in a movie theater. He had no concept of what a movie was. And he sat in and he's he was like, I was going to shit myself. Like everything was so loud. The screen was so big. <laughs> I was overwhelmed. It changed my life. And the movie he watched was head of state with Chris Rock. And that's so <laughs> fucking funny to me that his introduction to cinema was head of state. And that it is like the, one of the most emotional moments of his life is watching this film. <laughs> that is such a throwaway for 99% of the population. Oh Did that make God. it into our state's draft? <laughs> I don't think so. It should have. What do you that think risk- is the worst? What do you think is the worst first movie for a person to see? Of all movies? Yeah. Um, oh. I, f- I feel like... Um, Human Centipede, right? Oh, That's a bad one. I was going to say uh, Requiem for a Dream. Oh, that's a bad, bad one. one. That movie it would just be like, up. why does anyone watch any of these? <laughs> why do they make these? <laughs> <laughs> these suck. Um... Meet the Spartans. Yeah, I, I think that might be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is a one. good. You would have no idea what anything <laughs> is. is. That would be the most confusing <laughs> fucking movie for you. Oh my god, that's a great answer. Just a bunch of clips of people saying shit that doesn't land. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Andrew, I'm gonna assume you're the only one that watched it. But did you watch Survivor last night? No, I haven't been able to. I, I try to watch those with my mom, and so I'm not going to be able to do that until Friday. So, oh, go okay. See well, uh, never mind then. <laughs> is it good? I'm really excited to watch it. I just haven't seen it yet. Uh, I will say this is the first. Usually, you don't hate people until like episode three. Oh no, <laughs> there's like three or four people on this season that I fucking can't stand already, and uh, <laughs> and too many this for one is. Season. This is easily no, it's good because you're immediately invested, right? Yes. Like I want to see these people get voted out so badly. I'm more because usually the first two episodes of Survivor are, are feel out episodes where you're just kind of mm-hmm. getting the hang of the tribes and the dynamics. And it's nice to have a villain, and they're not even villains, just to have a fucking unlikable person pretty quickly. Um, I have to say this is easily the wimpiest cast I've uh, in the history of Survivor. <laughs> I'm like so just, excited to watch it. They're now. just like, uh, it's hot. There's bugs. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> the ground is scratchy. I don't want to do this. That's heavy. That looks hard. I need to sit down. I got to take a break. This isn't good for me. <laughs> at night, the monkeys come out. Yeah, at night, the monkeys come out. It's fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been meaning to tell you because you recommended that show, The Traitors, right? I think you told Traitors, us. Traitors, yeah. I fucking loved I've seen every season from every country. Yeah, I need to watch. I'm going to watch it now. Did you see that uh, they announced some of the cast for season two of the U.S. Traitors? And that no. Boston Rob is going to be on it with uh, Sandra and Poverty? That'll be awesome. 
yeah, I think that'll be a really fun season. So I've been trying to start that because I, I remember how much you enjoyed it and recommended it. I think there was a uh, there was a season of Australia Survivor that um, that had Sandra on it. It was either a, like a Survivor Australia, like an All Stars thing where Sandra went on it, or some sort huh. of a cross, like some sort of a you know how the challenge did like the world yes. season or whatever, which I never saw past the U.S. version. I don't know how that turned out, but I, it might have been something like that. But I remember seeing that she was coming back to Survivor one more time, but it was uh, in Australia. I, I know. I know Russell Hance did that and was immediately voted out first once again, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Maybe the most insulting comparable anyone's ever made with me. You, Jeff, calling me Russell Hance. I still, <laughs> think, so it, mean. I still think it stands. No, it does not stand. <laughs> hey, let me ask you guys a question. Okay. You know how like at some point, sometimes throughout the course of your day, it's appropriate to hum or you like sing a little bit for some reason, you know? I, I I'm going to say yes, but I don't know if Gavin agrees based yeah, off of recent. <laughs> you just don't ever catch really yourself do humming or like, I just oh. wonder like, what is your go-to song when you like sing a song in your head or you think music and then you like catch yourself humming a song? I, I imagine this can't happen for, for Gavin because it would require some sort of an internal dialogue. No, I yeah. do have it. It just doesn't come out of my mouth, but it is playing in my head. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have to come out of your mouth. It just plays in your playing in your head is just as good. I'm actually uh, tormented by something, but we'll get. To I, that. I, that's what I want to know, and the, I, I think you're about to tell us. I want to know, like, what's the first song that comes to your mind when you think music or hum to myself while I'm washing the dishes or whatever? Do you have a go to? Mine is uh, a song called "Swoon" by the Chemical Brothers, and I worked on a music video for it. And over the course of five days, I probably heard that song 800 times. And since that day, <laughs> when there's no song playing in my head, it's Swoon by the Chemical Brothers. And the song is basically like a siren. It just is an endless loop <laughs> of, I, I, I don't know how to, it's, what was that? Maybe 14 years ago at this point? I don't know how to get it out. <laughs> I just listened to some of it. This would be, uh, this would make me, I think, it, it, uh, go insane. Yeah, it's like this, seven minutes. Of <laughs> wheel, 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 wheel. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't mind. You know, I didn't, I didn't mind the Chemical Brothers before that. You, you've kind of caused this problem for me, Jeff. Where you talked about recently, maybe us doing a supplemental content of like the songs we hate the most. Yeah, and it's, I don't really feel super strongly about music, so it's having to really think about like what are truly the songs I hate. And I remembered one, and it has now kind of been stuck in my head since it happened, and it has caused me so much pain. Uh, I, I won't say what it is, but it has been on loop. And when we get to that content, I will I will share which one it was. I have a line from it, but that on a positive side, Cupid's chokehold in my head quite a bit. That just will randomly pop up constantly. Cup Cupid's chokehold. I don't know what that it's is. Just, Gym class heroes song from like 2007. Oh, uh, the Super Tramp song. Yeah, the Super Tramp song. Take but a look at my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, well, not that part, but yeah, that song. That's yeah. what a what a crazy to have. Like, I don't even know you call that like a cover. Like, what would you call that, Gavin? Like, a uh, it's just the Super Tramp song. <laughs> it, like, it's like barely so changed. Weird. That's so weird. <laughs> what a what a strange pick. Oh, it's a big song at the Red Itch. Yeah, would you say it's a sample or would you like what is that? Like a re I don't know. I I get I guess. I mean it's most it's just the hook from the song and <laughs> yeah, then other it's stuff. Mainly that. It's like, yeah, right. Like a, a reimagining, a reinterpretation of it. Yeah. Um for me it's most it's mostly still tipping by Mike Jones. Mm. That's a good uh, one too. But, but that but that changes a lot. Like it's, you know, sort of whatever is in my like I'm sure, Jeff, with you, do you have one song that you go to, or is it like a bunch of different, like, oh, yeah, I, I heard just, this recently? No, it, it is for me, and, and and I'm trying to figure out how long it's been my song, because I didn't... Mike I, Jones. I listened to, I listened to, uh, <laughs> or I watched Dallas every day of my life, right? And I was thinking about how iconic the Dallas <laughs> yeah, theme song is, and so I was thinking, uh, I was thinking to myself, I should try to make that. I should just try to start humming that song all the time because I'm always thinking. But and every time I start to do it, it morphs into the A-Team theme song. And I realize that whenever I <laughs> hum or think of music in my head, it's always the A-Team theme song. 100% <laughs> of the time. My entire life. 
And I'm wondering, <laughs> has it been that way since I was a child? Or is that recent? I think it's been forever. And I think I was even talking about it with you recently, Eric. Maybe. Did we talk about the A Team song together recently? Uh, it might have been a different Eric. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's the fucking anytime I think of music in my head, I go dun 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 if you looked up music in the dictionary, in my dictionary, it would be the A Team theme theme song. Did you ever? Hear, what was that? Um, it was like A Team theme song mixed with Beastie Boys. Did you ever hear that? No, that sounds cool. Was it like officially by them or like a remix? That's oh, I assume it was someone else made it. I think someone sent it to me on MSN. <laughs> is it like? Is it intergalactic? <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> Good guess, yeah, I think Eric. It was. Good guess. I mean, I'm just thinking, like, what's the most annoying Beastie Boys song that's ever acted? <laughs> that's a song. Oh, that's that might be on my list. Oh, not a big intergalactic. You don't like fan, intergalactic? Huh? I love the Beastie Boys. That song I have just heard so many times that if I never, ever, 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 ever heard mm. it again, that would be just fine. That's fair. There's definite songs that get overplayed. That's definitely one of them. Yeah, I could I could see that. I could support that, actually. It is definitely not their greatest song, and it definitely did get ra- rammed down our throats for quite a while. Yeah, I looked it up. It is intergalactic. Yeah, <laughs> That's great. Just, I'm thinking about, like, the A-Team is such an annoying song. What's an annoying song that would go with it, and it would have to be intergalactic? I, I, will, I will say, I think combined, they're both less annoying. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, think they've, I think they've made it work. <laughs> By combining it with the eighteen. Oh my god. We uh we should we should wrap up. We gotta do this tonight yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's we should and I, I got something to do after this, so I gotta I gotta get going. Uh, Nick, how does Madness by Muse go? Yeah, we're wrapping up. Thanks, man. There you go. You know how uh, you know how everybody gets obsessed with talking about who the goat of a particular sport is, is like yeah, great, sure. greatest of all time. Uh, You're wondering like what's the best goat? No, no. Although that's interesting. Oh, uh, I assume it would be fainting goats because they're pretty cute. It'd be uh, Billy or fainting. It's between it's between NBA seasons right now, and so there's always it, sports commentators are always struggling for content, so they always go like, is it MJ or you know Bill Russell or uh, LeBron or whatever? Uh, and I was thinking the other day. What is the woat? We never talk about who is the worst professional oh. athlete of all time per sport. Something to think about as we end this episode. Maybe we I can. I like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll come back with an answer for next. Like time. I assume, I assume Andrew has a hockey answer, or he will. By I have an MMA that. answer actually immediately. There you go. And uh, I've never really thought about it for basketball players, but I bet I, I bet you could look it up statistically. There has to be a worst NBA player of all time. There has to be a worst <laughs> English Premier League player of all time. Yeah, there's going to be a Premier League player who only ever scored own goals. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there definitely has to be. Uh, <laughs> like the sum total of his his or her professional career was a negative to the Negative. Team. Yeah, a huge <laughs> negative. Uh, anyway, something to think about uh, while you <laughs> pine away and wait for next week's recording when we all get to get back together again and talk about all the things that make life interesting and make us laugh. And, and then we all talk about how funny we all think each other are, except for Gavin, who's not particularly impressed with any of us. <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of <laughs> Face. We'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Hey, guys. Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of <laughs> Face. Nice voice. Let's talk poop. The boys time travel. What's the best dog in a movie? Jeff's ghost returns. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs>